Hi guys and welcome back to Think Student. Today we're going to be looking at what to do if you fail your GCSEs. We understand this can obviously be a hard experience to go through, but the next steps you take can make or break your future for the next few years. To start off with, we have get your GCSE English and your GCSE Maths exams remarked. You may already be aware that in order to prevent retaking GCSE Maths and or English during sixth form, you must achieve a grade 4 in both Maths and either English Language or Literature. Therefore, if you currently have a grade 3 in any of these main subjects, then a remark could potentially boost your grade up to the minimum, meaning you can avoid resetting any exams. However, if the grade you achieved is less than a 3, there's very little chance of your grade being boosted to or more levels, so there's very little point in remarking it. It's likely that your school will offer to pay for your remark, but if not, it will cost you around £30 per paper. The deadline for the remark is the 20th of September, so ensure that your request is sent in before then. Secondly, we recommend that you talk to your college about your available options. You can take a sigh of relief as the majority of colleges will accept you, no matter what GCSE grades you've achieved. However, the courses they may offer you will most likely be on the condition that you resit maths or English language if you failed them. Talking it through with your college face-to-face -face is vital, as even though you may have just fallen short of their entry requirements, there is a high likelihood that they'll make an exception for you. But if for some reason you're not accepted into college, we recommend that you go straight into employment so that you can build up your CV for the future and get a head start. We have a video and article on some great jobs that require no GCSEs, so if you're interested in that, you can find the links to them in the description below. Thirdly, we have deciding what career path you want to pursue. It's fine not to be 100% sure on what job you'd like to do when you're older, although knowing the general area of work will help you massively. The direction you decide to take should be realistic and also accommodate your current situation, so you may have to adjust your future plans slightly based on the fact that you failed your GCSEs. Although this doesn't mean that the career path you choose is dull and amateurish, it should simply suit your strengths. To help pick the direction you want to go in, think of what you're passionate about. There's no point to picking a choice which you're not interested in as you won't have any motivation to actually progress, so your attempt at succeeding in that career will most likely go the same way as your GCSEs. Not great. It's important to understand that there's nothing wrong with choosing a career path that isn't academic either, as most people are much better suited to something rather than passing exams, so do not fear. And number four, we suggest talking it through with your friends and family. Failing your GCSEs can be a very stressful experience, so talking it through with friends and family is a great way to call off a bit. They may be disappointed in your results, but don't let that fact get you down. Instead, use it as motivation to succeed and prove them wrong. But on the off chance that your parents don't care about your GCSEs, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't. Just keep a fine balance as being too upset with yourself can be unhealthy and counterproductive. And number five, we have writing down the reasons for failing your GCSEs. Failing your GCSEs may not cause major disruption in the grand scheme of things. However, the reason for failing will stay with you for the rest of your life if you don't address it. Writing the reasons you didn't succeed down can give you a chance to reflect and fix these issues. The three main reasons that caused your failure at GCSE will most likely fit into these three categories. You didn't give your GCSEs enough effort your revision technique was really poor, or you started revising too late. If the reason you failed was simply by not trying, it's not going to cut it. You'll need to come up with a cover story that you can tell your potential colleges and employers, as simply saying you didn't try shows bad character and work ethic. You also need to work on the issue of not trying, as if you don't fix the issue now, you'll continue to fail. Secondly, if your reason was because you had bad revision technique, you'll need to improve it if you want to continue down a path where you take exams. But if you're looking to enter a workplace where GCSEs are not required, then you may not need to worry too much. Finally, if you began revising too late, it's important you learn how to plan properly as these skills are in high demand in the working world. Finally, we have talking to people who have also failed their GCSEs. It can be a great help to simply reach out to others that have also been in the same situation as you. They can provide you with ideas that you've not thought or heard of, like apprenticeship opportunities and other career paths. Reaching out to others is also a great way to feel less alone in your situation, as you can get assurance from others that you'll be alright. That's it for this video guys, if you'd like to check out any of the articles or videos mentioned in this video, you can find them all down in the description below.